Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sauce of the Week. In this episode, I'm going to be highlighting Oh My ZSH. So what is ZSH? Well, the Z, S, and H part stands for Z Shell. Now, when you install your Mac OS, the, the default shell uh, that comes with your Mac OS is called the Bash Shell, right? So what is a Bash Shell? Well, Bash Shell is basically just a type of shell. So what is a shell? Shell is basically what you're looking at over here. It's the, the stuff that allows you to type commands in and then responds with you know the output of whatever uh, you know you you tell it to do, right? That's the shell. So uh, there are many types of shells, and the the one that I'm using right here is called Z shell. And basically, what Oh My ZSH is is a, it's a framework for Z shell. So basically, over here you can see the project that I'm in, the fo folder of the project that I'm working on, and I can see the Git branch uh, that I'm working on currently. And uh, that all comes with Z shell, right? Uh, Z shell also allows, uh, well, oh my ZHS also allows me to change a theme. So I can go over here. So this is the, the home page. Uh, so to install is very simple. Uh, you can basically just copy this command, paste it in your uh, terminal and hit enter and it'll just install. On the Mac, it's pretty straightforward. On Linux, uh, you might need to go the manual way, uh, but they might have fixed the automatic installer for Linux. It's been a while since I last tried. So give that a shot. Now, I'm gonna show you the cheat sheet over here and some cool stuff you can do with it. You can come and read this uh, all you want, uh, but I'm gonna highlight a few things over here. So for example, I'm in a Rails project. What I can do is like rake and then tab. And what it's gonna show me is like all the rake command that I can run for this application. So that's pretty cool. Now, what else can we do? So we can do ls and then hyphen and we can do a tab. It'll show me all the options I have for, um, you know, ls, sorry, ls and then uh, tab. So I'm gonna see all the options for this command and uh, you know, all, whatever option I need, I can just pick out from here. Uh, so that's another cool stuff. So uh, another thing is SSH tab. So basically auto completion. So these are basically the places like AppScribe. This is my VPN over here. I SSH in that a lot, um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, you know, it, it uh, makes your life a lot easier. Uh, the color is much nicer and uh, check out some aliases that comes pre-built if you use git. So g is a basically git. So for example, if I do g, um, you know, this is git. So, you know, check it out. Very, very cool stuff. So instead of typing git, I just do g and I can just uh, activate git. All right. So, um, you know, check out all these shortcuts. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, so for example, you know, git status is a gst, you know, very, very cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, check out the themes that they have. So for example, over here and click the themes and I can see all the themes that they have and pick the one that I like the most. And I can just go into my Z, uh, VI and ZHSRC and I can go in and change the theme over here. So I'm not going to change my theme because I like mine the way that it is, but uh, you're welcome to try it out. You can pick whichever one you like and uh, yeah, you know, give it a shot. And it's gonna make your development life, especially if you work a lot with Terminal, a lot easier. So yeah, give that a shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.